Hi folks, another ocean liner portrait to share with you. This is a very famous liner uh, by the name of the Europa. She was sister ship to the Bremen and both she and the Bremen were designed to basically win the blue ribbon and take it off of the old and aging Mauritania which had been holding the ribbon more or less since 1907. Now, this is kind of an interesting portrait. It's New York Harbor. And what's really neat about this advertising print is what's on the very center between the two funnels. You'll see something kind of neat here. It looks almost like a slingshot. And indeed, that's what it was. Because when these ships came out, of course, the Bremen came out first and immediately won the Blue Ribbon. And, of course, the Europa had some issues, so she came out later. But when those ships came out, in between the two funnels was affixed a more or less a slingshot here of sorts and an airplane would be parked on it and what they would do and it was somewhat of a publicity show is that uh, they would load all the mail into the plane and then the plane would be more or less shot off of the ship and then the mail would arrive one day earlier it was a big big thing it was only one problem. It wasn't always very successful. And there were several times that the plane ended up in the ocean. So that feature was pretty quickly removed. And so it's always interesting to find a picture where you'll see the slingshot. Because it was removed pretty quickly. But this is right in the earliest part of her career. Now, of course, the Europa, which you see sailing in here, it's kind of neat just to take a look at the ship. I love photographs like this, so you can just kind of look at it sailing in. Interesting thing also about this ship, she would serve as the Europa until 1939, and then we went into World War II. She would sink... Um, in uh, France, she would hit the wreck of the uh, Paris and sink uh, on an even keel at least. Then she was raised and uh, she had a whole new career after that with the French line called the Liberté and she lasted until the 1960s. But this is just the beginnings of her career, and it's lovely to look at New York City and how it looked in the early part of the 1930s when the Europa was coming to New York City on a daily basis. So another portrait to share with you. I have some more, which I'll do soon. Thank you.